Now, the media mob, once again, they're coming for one of their favorite targets. That's 2024 Republican presidential candidate, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. And as per usual, the ladies at that hard-hitting news show on ABC called The View couldn't help from, well, weighing in, this time worrying over his love life. You just can't make this up. The only thing that I worry about is, like, a Ginny Thomas popping up. Right? So you have someone that is single and someone becomes president, and then he meets a Ginny Thomas. And so if someone is not married and then they get married to Ginny Thomas, I'm right. concerned. Right. The reason this came up is because of something that was happening, an interview that Tim Scott did. But 2024 presidential uh, candidate, uh, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is with us. <laughs> so. Here you have Justice Thomas, who's black, Ginny Thomas, who's white, and, oh, he might marry a Ginny Thomas. How do you... Is that not playing the race card? So, absolutely. Sean, the Democrat Party and the progressive left, they are stuck in Jim Crow 1920s and 30s. What they do not want is a black man who thinks for himself. You can be anything in America if you're black, except for a conservative. That's why Sonny is so radical and so disgusting with her comments. They do not want my life story to be told because it disrupts the lies of the radical left. I can't think of anything more disgusting and more disheartening to watch the Democratic Party descend down into the 1920s. I know. Unbelievable. I, but I consistent. I, I, by the way, I thought liberals were so open-minded. Uh, wh why are they so obsessed? With, why are these women at The View so obsessed with you? But I find these comments repugnant. I know uh, Justice Thomas. I've met him. I know Ginny Thomas. I've met her. They're lovely people, you know? And I just, I, I listen to Absolutely. this, and I find that the treatment, and you're right, if you're African-American and you are conservative, God help you. It's like open season. They can say and do whatever they want. No consequences. No wokeness exists. Not you at know, all. You know, just unload insult after insult. I think you might have to go back on The View and kick their ass again. <laughs> Time to go back there and kick you behind. I like that, Sean. Good word. Good word. All right. I'll bring your audience with me. That's what we need to do. Take your audience you to The View. Let's do it together. You give Let's us the date. I'll have everybody waiting outside to go in and... Uh, Let's just say, give a nice uh, little applause for Joyless Behar. That'll be a great moment. Um, Joyless Blackface Behar. All right, so you did go on The View. Tell, that, that worked out, I thought, very well for you. Uh, it was amazing. Joy didn't want to show up that day, did she? Well, she took the day off because, listen, when you say something offensive and disgusting, you should be called out in person, live, yes, and in color. And so I went on The View and had a serious conversation about the greatness of America. We should all be proud to be Americans. And I can't, for the life of me, understand why the radical left wants a different country. This is the greatest nation on earth. We are the city on the hill. The radical left and the progressives want to sell socialism because they do not believe in the American people. It's time for us to take a stand, whether it's on The View or at the radical left party. It is time to take our message from sea yeah. to shining sea. All right, Senator, great to have you. We will see you out at the next debate at the Reagan Library. Look forward to seeing you. Always appreciate you coming on the program, sir. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.